Did you forget the password to log into your switch? In this video, I'll show you how to do a password recovery. So here we are at my friend's house and he has a uh, 3750 switch and he doesn't have the password to it. So we're going to show you how to do a password recovery on the switch. You need physical access to your switch. Plug in your console cable, get a console session going. If this is a stacked switch, you want to power off the non-master stacks. If you have a standalone switch that's not stacked, just proceed to the next step. Now what you're going to do is um, you're going to power off the switch. So the easiest way to do that is just to yank the power cord. Now we're going to plug it back in and then what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the mode button here. So now you'll see that the assist light is flashing. I'm going to keep holding this down. It's green right now and it's going to turn yellow green as you're seeing right now and now it has gone out completely. At this point in time I can let go of the button and we'll see. At this point in time if you look at your console screen you'll see that your switch is in password recovery mode with the switch prompt. Enter the command flash underscore init and that will initialize flash. The startup config is stored in a file called config.txt. So first we'll do a dir on the flash to make sure that we can see it. And then what we will do is we will rename that file to a backup file name. Notice the syntax for the rename command. Rename space flash colon old file name space flash colon new file name. After you've renamed the file, do a DAR command again to make sure that your file has been renamed and that the config.txt is no longer seen in the flash. Now you need to issue the reset command to reload the switch. Don't just unplug it because you'll get back to the switch prompt. Enter reset at the prompt, select yes, and allow the switch to reload. The switch will now prompt you asking whether you'd like to run the initial configuration dialog. Select no, and then enter the enable command to bring yourself into privileged exec mode. The show run command shows that the switch loaded with a blank config. If you're using a stacked switch, issue a copy flash colon config backup file space flash colon config.txt command. Then power up your non-master switches and wait until they initialize. Now run the command copy flash config.backup file space system.running config. You do this whether or not you have a stacked switch. Now you can enter configuration mode to set a new password for the enable mode and for either the console line or the VTY line. Don't forget to save your running config to startup config and when you test my recommendation is to keep the console session open and then try a remote login to the SVI. Like this, if you made a mistake, you still have an active console connection and you don't have to repeat this process. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped.